Get a better broadcast podcast voice over voice. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. Vocal tension is what we're talking about at the moment from sitting and standing. Yeah, it can come from every which way, can't it? Physical tension from sitting down and standing up. It's very easy, of course, to stay still in a studio and only at the end of a programme or or pre-recordings of podcasts or a a, a marathon voiceover session, you suddenly realise, boy, I've, I've been sitting in this seat for three or four hours. It's a bit dangerous. Sitting still has your body relaxed in a sedentary position. Your breathing slows into shallow breaths. The lungs struggle to fully open. You begin to sound dull and lifeless because of a lack of oxygen to power your voice and to power your muscles and power your brain. You need to get reinvigorated by walking around the studio whenever you have a chance. It'll get some air into your lungs, help you sound more alert the next time you open the mic. Give your legs a stretch. Standing for a long time may also cause problems. I know this myself having recently had a really severe back problem that I was hospitalised for after standing still for half an hour at a Veterans Remembrance Parade back in November. Locked knees, tight lower back, possibly head jutted forwards towards a microphone if you're standing up to speak in a studio. But in general, standing is preferable. Standing up gives you better control of your breathing, helps you stay alert, means you can move around much more freely as you gesture. And in fact, some radio stations which have presenters who stand to deliver, thank you Adam and the Ants, have studio desks which are raised slightly so they don't have to slouch to operate the faders. Some have those microphone headsets so their presenters can walk around the studio as they talk, which seems to me to be a good idea. Okay, that's about it for today. Tomorrow, we're going to start off with nine lines on the spine. Lines one to three tomorrow on Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. And I'm going to set both of us a challenge. I've only just thought about this. I said stand to deliver. Uh, Do do you remember the Adam and, and, and the Ant song, Stand to Deliver? What year do you reckon that came out on? I'm going to say... See, I want to say 85. That's my gut feeling, but I think logically it was probably a little earlier than that. I'm going to say 1983. I'll look it up. You don't look it up. You have a guess, and we'll both learn the answer tomorrow as Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. 83. Was it 83? I think it was 83.